Now the next one is titled, my kid is so annoying. Are all kids this annoying or is it just mine? She's four and from the moment she wakes up to the moment she goes to sleep, it is constant fussing, whining, asking for things. Example, asking for dessert when she hasn't finished dinner yet and fighting with her two-year-old sister. She's always calling my name and if I don't respond immediately, she'll get nervous and start looking for me. I'll be in the bathroom or doing laundry. Also, she never listens. I mean, I know kids will be kids, but she doesn't even listen like once unless I yell which I hate to do, but always end up doing since I don't know any other way to get her to listen to me. Now, I don't have a lot of advice for OP here because I don't have experience with a four-year-old. What I do find very sad, like there, there's so much about this thread that I kind of find super sad, actually. Um, I get that as a parent, there will of course be times where you're annoyed by your kids and you can't really avoid that. But I wonder if she is annoyed constantly the way that she seems to be annoyed constantly from the way that she writes this thread, then chances are the kid is aware and the kid feels it and the kid notices and that's kind of sad for the kid. And I would wonder to what extent does that then worsen the experience that she's having and the behavior that she's exhibiting because she's she she can she can tell that her mom is annoyed at her that's one aspect to it the other aspect is when she says hey she you know, she asks for dessert when she hasn't finished dinner yet like some of these behaviors sound like normal kid behaviors to me i i i, I just wouldn't be so annoyed by them honestly like maybe my patience level is at a different level from most other people but normal kid things i would always say okay that's just normal kid behavior and that's why that's why she does that this I find very interesting. She says she's always calling my name and if I don't respond immediately, she'll get nervous and start looking for me. Now, I don't know if this is a normal kid behavior or not, but it sounds to me like she has a serious fear of being left alone um, or being abandoned. And wherever that fear comes from, honestly, I, I would really sit down and try to talk to her about why she feels scared. Uh, I would also tell her where I'm going if I were to leave her. Like I would try to work with her on that and try to develop a sense of trust and faith from her side that she understands that I'm not, like if I just disappear, if I go downstairs or something, then I'm not going to be gone forever. That seems to me like there is a total lack of understanding and compassion for the child's perspective here. And maybe that would be something that would help because maybe that also worsens the behavior in general if she feels like she's not being respected or heard or listened to at all. And then the last thing she says, hey, kids will be kids, but she doesn't, even listen like once unless I yell. Honestly, I think what often happens is that you set a precedent. So if you teach your child that the only way you're going to be serious about something is if you're yelling about it, then they take that at face value and then they go, okay, well, so long as you're not yelling, then you're probably not that serious. Um, so if I had that this type of problem, then I would look for different ways to try to parent and discipline. And I would try to get rid of yelling from my set of behaviors that I show uh, and portray in front of my child, because that is also something that she will pick up. Now, I really say this as someone from very outside perspective. I don't have anything near a four-year-old and I haven't interacted with a four-year-old in a very long time. So maybe I'm just completely off base here. But often my perception of the majority of kids when they start getting really angry, when they start getting really frustrated, when they throw tantrums, um, and when they freak out in ways like this, then often the thing that will help the most in my, like in, in my opinion, is just engaging with the child, getting down on their level, trying to understand where they're coming from. And often I think that that actually gets rid of a lot of the frustration that you feel as a parent as well, because instead of being like, hey, I just don't get what her problem is, suddenly you have a bit of a deeper understanding that she's actually trying to communicate with you. And maybe she's not communicating in the right way and you have to try and set boundaries and you have to push her communication in a way that really works. But the fact that she's trying to tell you something is still important. And as her mother, you should be there for her and trying to listen to it. So I say this as someone, uh, you know, at some point when I have a four-year-old, I'm going to watch this video again, and then we'll see, we'll see how much uh, regret I feel for having said any of these things. A lot of people say, hey, this sounds like normal four-year-old behavior to me. One person says, all of these sound normal. If she gets nervous when she can't find you, I would tell her, hey, I'm going to be um, doing the laundry. My kids do this to me too. They could be totally unaware of me for an hour. But the moment that I'm uh, in the toilet, suddenly they need to find me. It's just easier to tell them that I'm going to be indisposed for a few minutes. 
So yeah, I think maybe kids have a natural fear at this age that um, that manifests itself. And then it's just about working with them to understand where that fear is coming from and to try and help them get rid of it. Next person says, hey, yeah, that sounds about right for that age. I'm always joking with my husband that kids are such a-holes. You really have to love them for the experience to be worthwhile. She'll quit the whining soon, but cop an attitude instead. And um, another person, this is not OP, but she replies, I think I almost enjoy the attitude more than the whining. I hate, hate whining. Like, just use your normal voice. My God, my four-year-old has the most nasal voice I've ever heard. And when she whines, wow, just wow. So it's just attitude, which is still impressive at the level she manages. I'm better with that. The whining is like nails on a chalkboard with that one. And the eight-year-old just randomly rolls or growls. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Why did you just howl? <laughs> what is this? So, okay, the eight-year-old sounds hilarious. Um, the four-year-old with the whining, honestly, I always wondered, do kids pick up these behaviors just by themselves? Or is there a setting or an environment in which they are exposed to them and then they're copying the people that they see and trying to see what happens? Because I think that's a pretty normal way for kids to behave. Um, I would question, is there someone around my kid's life who whines in that way that is teaching them that whining is how they should um the whining is a way that they can get what they want for example then i think it's likely that a lot of kids will do it now the next one uh i will read out says sounds like you need a break especially if you're resorting to yelling a lot i don't mean that in a judgmental way kids are a lot of work and can be so frustrating if my kid isn't listening after i say something two times i'm done talking which includes yelling and i get up and physically enforce a boundary so taking away a toy or removing him from the area, etc. If I just tell him something over and over and then yell, he's not going to take me seriously. Also, kids don't listen. Your kid sounds totally normal. It can still be annoying, but it's definitely normal. And so, yeah, I honestly am um, one of those people who gets very, very touchy when yelling is happening in the house and I don't like it and I don't enjoy it. And I think that the majority of parents resort to yelling out of desperation um, there are very, very many ways and it's like there's a lot of information available out there on the internet. I think it's tempting when you have a forum like this to just go in and like vent because suddenly you have people there who just help you with your emotions and it's, it's a bit of a, a cathartic experience that you can just push those emotions out into the world and then be like, okay, maybe now I can calm down a bit. But, um, but there's also a ton of information on the internet about different types of ways you can parent, different ways that you could, um, you could reduce tantrums, you can deal with tantrums, and how to really engage with your kid in a way that works for them, that takes into consideration their particular age and their development and how, how they feel and how they are. And hopefully, with access to a bit of information like that, you can move away from the behaviors that make you as a parent also frustrated and angry and that you want to get rid of.